Right, so we are very much into 2020 and we are, are you still thinking about what, how to make really good use of your Android television, smart television? Are you really have using all the apps that you should be? Are you aware of uh, the must-have apps on your television? So in this video, we're going to review or maybe uh, summarize a good list of uh, of apps that should be uh, on your television if you really want to make good use of your uh, money that you have spent on your television so i've done uh, uh, quite a few detailed reviews of uh, almost all of these apps that you see on the screen i'm gonna cover a very few which i think uh, falls in top of my list if you uh, uh, if you haven't gone through other videos if you want more information on any, on any particular app browse through my uh, youtube channel uh, and you would be able to see the details uh, for any of the apps but uh, here we're going to cover uh, what is really necessary for you to make really good use of your television uh, i mean you really spend so much time uh, money on it so 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 uh, i'm not going to go into detail for some of the very obvious apps like netflix or amazon prime these are streaming apps quite popular you need to pay for watching the content uh, hd 4k quality if you pay for that particular subscription plan uh, i won't go into detail but uh, bbc iplayer i TV hub uh, these are more popular into UK if you want to watch BBC programs including live news this this is what you would want to watch and subscribe to it make sure that you have a TV license because uh, legally you should have TV license for watching BBC programs uh, in UK and even abroad as well right you would need to sign in once you've signed in and you agree that you have tv license they will allow you to watch bbc channels live streaming and along with recorded programs as well same stands for B itv player but i think the the standout uh, app for me has been a screen it allows you to screen mirror uh, 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 your android phone or ios apple phone iphone from your uh, you can screen mirror onto your android tvs and how you do it there are tutorials here so it's a bit frozen and i'm just yeah okay so uh right so it allows you to uh screen mirror your iphone and these are the steps your iphone should be uh, at the same Wi-Fi network as your Android uh, device, which is your Android TV here. Uh, you should uh, go to the control center and open AirPlay from your iPhone. And then you should select the television. And then you your stream your content will be streamed or your screen would be mirrored on the Android TV. Uh, AirScreen also allows you to uh, cast uh, your uh, Chrome browsers from your laptop or from your tablets onto the android tv so you open something on your chrome browser you just cast it on your tv and you can watch it on full screen it also allows you to cast photographs from your google photos app or even your local mobile phone app as well it allows you to cast from macbook from android phones from chromebooks chromebooks makes it more easily i mean so you, these are the different methods you can use to cast uh, from your one android device onto your android tv yeah miracast dlna and these are tutorials on this app as well it's free but if you want to use it for longer and they will be and if you want to watch it ad free then you need to subscribe it's minimal cost but i don't think you need to subscribe it's just for very few ads if you can bear with that then and the more important one is the google play store if it is an android tv you will have it by default uh, this is the interface and it allows you to download thousands and thousands of apps this is the main difference between android television and a smart television it comes so the android tv comes with android google google play store which allows you to download thousands and thousands of apps as i said earlier yeah and even if you don't uh, have apps because it will only have apps that are compatible for your television yeah it won't have all the apps that you have on your android phones but even if you don't have it uh, for tv you can download those apps through side load and there are different ways of doing that uh, i won't cover it into this video but i've done it on other videos so just scroll through my channel and you will find it you can find the apps through 
here from the search bar or there are uh, there is a good list of e games as well as there are featured games recommended games free and then paid apps as well so i won't be covering that in this video but uh, as i said earlier just browse through browse through my channel and that should be very helpful for you right let me come back and uh, yeah let me just quickly show you how you install something uh, before i move further you just go to an app let me select one of them let me select let's say tune in you just go in there and just press install it will start installing depending on your broadband internet speed it should take a couple of seconds or maybe a few minutes to download it and then you can go into the settings and apps within settings you'll go to apps and you can see how much space it has taken you can clear cache from time to time to space to save some space fine anyways this is how you would do it once it's in installed it would just ask you to open it yeah or it would show you on your main screen on your home page youtube uh, comes by default everywhere then puffin browser on tv that's one of my picks for you this is a browser i think the standard problem with all the smart tvs is that the browser are not very friendly puffin tv allows you to really browse like you browse on your google chrome or google search that's really really cool it allows you to uh, have a history of uh, uh, browsed websites you frequently visit so that you can just go there and just start browsing you can bookmark your websites it gives you recommended website that you based on your choices and it's really easy to type as well you can sync it with your android phones and you can type it on your phone uh, that makes things really easy i'll just quickly open one of the websites here you see bbc uh, news website yeah okay i'll come out uh, of it now and i'll move on to the next app uh, haystack tv is an, again the next one on my list it collaborates the news from different news websites and shows it all together into this single app and you can customize it based on your uh, likings or dislikings and you can watch news as you want i'll will come out before it plays because it will give me copyright strikes uh, okay facebook watch allows you to sync your facebook account uh, and then you can watch the facebook videos onto your television playing straight away here yeah this is it's a really cool one and you don't want to have to watch on your mobile you can watch your favorite videos here on tv through facebook facebook watch then AccuWeather allows you to see what's happening outside in terms of weather you can add more cities and that allows you to see i mean forecast for next 14 days maybe up to 30 days sometimes i'll just quickly go in there show you the interface and uh, yeah you see what's happening outside i'm in london united kingdom it's nine degree cloudy and then we can come down and see what's happening on an hourly basis yeah and then only a daily forecast for the next maybe two weeks i think yeah and you can add more locations in here you can see maps and others as well and you can see what's the time there you can add more locations here edit locations yeah so it's a cool app good to have if you have a smart television to make good use of it uh yeah maps and yeah right okay i've done a video on it and details so i won't go into much detail here and then vlc player uh, where is it yeah vlc player allows you to watch uh media content movies that are downloaded on your on your one of your storage device it can be a usb it can be a shared folder on your laptop or on a lan network you can watch it really nicely here yeah so video content it says uh, i ha don't have a video content at the moment so you can attach internal memory through usb drive you can have local network you can stream it or through online i've done a video detail video on this one so i won't go into most detail the latest available uh, version of vlc for android is 3.2.3 so make sure you have the latest one uh, fine okay and then coming back to kodi again it allows you to stream content online you need to do some settings you can watch tv shows and movies or uh, games uh, all for free uh, if you have done the settings albums allows you to organize uh, 
uh, uh, photos internet browse screen mirroring is i mean es player is another one which allows you to download a lot of other apps that are not previously or not build by default on your television i've done a detailed review on this uh, app as well so i won't go into much detail here so these are my picks uh, I mean, if you have any questions, post your questions on my comment section. Uh, I'll just quickly show you uh, whatever apps you have, and if they are running, and your 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 TV gets frozen because a lot of memory is being occup uh, occupied or being used by the app, you can go into settings into apps. It will show you the list of apps. So, like I've just run uh, Puffin TV to show you how it works. Uh, it might have frozen my tv and all i need to do is to go to full stop and do it so it's similar to the killing a process on your laptop if it freezes uh, or crashes your laptop you can kill some applications or processes being run in background the same is here I and mean, it's not i mean your smart tv android tv is no different than a and a than a, a laptop with i mean